It's pretty much agreed upon that Octane is really fun to play in public matches, but has no place at all in any high tier play. I think I came up with a very interesting concept on how to give him a major buff by mainly introducing more depth and a higher skill ceiling into his abilities. All the current top legends for tournament level play, that's Wraith, Watson, Gibraltar and Pathfinder have one thing in common, very strong team focused abilities. And besides Watson, they also bring gunfight clutch potential to the table. Wraith has a I don't want to die button, Pathy has his grapple and Gibraltar, well, Gibby's health is just thick AF. I'll take this current meta as an indicator and will thereby try to improve on Octane's abilities to move the entire team, but also make suggestions on how to improve his gunfight potential. In its current form, Octane's jump pad is basically a worse zipline. The distance is shorter and you are a very easy target while using it. My goal is to fix these two issues while not just replicating the behavior of the zipline. So instead of just increasing the distance the jump pad boosts you, I'm going to talk about a much more important point first. Having control over your path. On the zipline you can do all sorts of evasive maneuvers and can drop off at any point you like. The biggest drawback about the jump pad currently is that once you step on it, you're locked into a predictable flight curve. And even air strafing can only influence where you land. The only variations of flight curves currently available are to input or not input a jump, or going straight up and down by either throwing the jump pad at your feet, climbing into it or having too much momentum while hitting it. I now want to expand the availability of possible flight curves. So my first suggestion would be to give walking, sprinting and sliding into the jump pad different flight curves. This lets you utilize it much better depending on the terrain and buildings around you. Walking into it would be great for getting onto structures, sprinting into it would give you the same angle it's currently at and sliding into it would throw you forward at a very shallow angle, but also much further. This already would give his jump head a lot more utility, but it's still not enough in my opinion. Give his jump head an overcharge perk. Part one of this is that it restores 25% shield upon hitting it. This makes it a great utility to escape gunfights, chase down enemies or third party other teams with more confidence. The second part of the overcharge is about your jetpacks. Upon hitting the jump pad, your jetpacks should get overcharged to give you a double jump. During your flight path, whenever you want, you can tap jump again and change directions once. This part alone, even without all the other changes, already makes the jump pad so much better. It resolves the main issue of the jump pad in high tier rank play. No one uses it there cause against players with good aim you're pretty much dead as soon as you're in the air. A player on a predictable flight curve is just too easy to take out. But now you could use the direction change to evade incoming fire, use it to aggressively push floors in school to, uh, capital city, or decelerate a jump pad launch and push the final circle precisely. There's so much potential. This could also function as the overall distance increase I talked about in the beginning. We might not need to make the jump pad launch itself stronger if you can add a second momentum boost in between with which you can decide to either accelerate more, completely reverse or change directions. The best part about it is that it totally fits the lore. The jetpacks on your legends are basically the ones used by pilots in Titan 4 2, which they use to double jump. And maybe Watson is the one that engineers Octane's new jump pad, which would neatly explain how you can regain 25% health from it. Speaking of her, as I already mentioned, besides Watson the current top legends also all have gunfight clutch potential. For this I want to mention that my main goal is not to replace one of the top legends and immediately make Octane a must pick, but to just make him viable in high level play, bring him to a similar power level like Bangalore and Lifeline. So while I'm pretty sure that my suggested jump pad changes don't risk making him OP, I'm not so sure about the following changes to Octane himself that all center around his stim ability. Make his stim totally negate slow effects. That's from Caustic and Watson traps, over Bangalore Ultimate and Arc Stars, up to the slowdown effect from bullets. 
He should still take all the damage, make his dim noise and we can talk about differentiating between the movement and aim slow and if his dim should negate both. But I want Octane to be the speed demon he gets described as and force enemy teams to worry about him in close quarters. While stimming your in the air ADS spread should tighten. Your hip fire spread stays unaffected, meaning more accurate fire while using his jump pad. Give me those titan for two moments. While stimming, Octane should be able to nade jump with his own grenades without taking shield damage. This again would fit the lore since he already has a past with frag boosting, but to be honest I mainly just want nade jumping to be an actual thing in Apex and not just a niche technique no one uses when it's not currently part of a competition. Another interesting idea would be to allow him to either activate or deactivate his jump pad or destroy it remotely. You could do that with the same button prompt as Crypto uses to recall his dorm. Besides using this to deny enemies completely to use your jump pad, it could have potential for some interesting plays. Imagine setting a trap for a team where you let one of them use your jump pad towards your squad before remotely destroying it and catching them in a 1 vs 3, cut off from their team or using it as a short distraction. I think the enable disable feature is more interesting, but he could also just be able to destroy them remotely. Overall I want Octane to transform into a speed demon charlatan that could come from every direction and through your traps. I'm super interested to hear what you all think about this, if you would make changes or additions. Is Octane maybe fine as he is? And most importantly, should I do this for more legends? Because depending on your feedback, I might make this into a series. So subscribe if you don't want to miss the potential future of that. I started this with Octane cause I had the idea with the jump pad overcharge and just desperately want a double jump in Apex. Thanks so much for watching till the end. I'll see you in the next video.